Hi there team, Coach Alexa here. I'm going to take you through in this video a set of different challenges. Uh, flexibility and mobility challenges, strength challenges and also balance challenges. And depending on how easy or difficult you find these, this will give you a little bit of a clue as to what of those, which of those three areas is going to be the most useful for you to work on to complement your running. So we're going to start off with three flexibility and mobility challenges. So this one involves using a door frame or like a corner of a wall like I've got here. So you want to position yourself in this kind of hip flexor stretch or lunge position and you want to really tuck your tailbone under so that your lower back is flat against the wall and you can't get your fingers into that curve of the lower back, it's the whole of the spine back against the wall. And then you want to take a look at the position of your knee. Ideally, we want it to be straight underneath the hips, so it's in a straight line going down downhill. If you're feeling quite an intense stretch in this position across your hip flexors, across the front of that hip, then these hip flexors need a little bit of extra mobility, a little bit of extra stretching. Or even more so, if you find you can't get your leg into that position and actually the knee's slightly forward of the hips, then even more so hip mobility is something that would be really good for you to work on. The next one we're going to look at is ankle mobility. So with this one, you just need to start with your toes, just gently touching the wall. And we want to see in a nice tall upright posture if we can get our knee to touch the wall. I have very flexible ankles, so uh, don't be too worried about how far back I go. So just moving our foot a little bit further back, seeing if our feet can still touch the wall, whilst the whole of the foot and the heel stays on the ground. And we want to just get to the point where our, ankle is, our, our heel is almost just about to lift off the ground, the furthest point that you can get your foot away while your knee can still touch the wall. Maybe get a tape measure out if you're a goal-driven person like me. Measure the distance from your toes to the wall and then you can track improvement in ankle mobility from there. Upper body and shoulder mobility is also really, really key for running and really nice backward arm drive. So another little test we can do with that is interlacing our fingers behind our shoulders. And again, I've got quite good shoulder mobility. So in one direction, I can clasp my fingers behind my back fine. Might have something to work on in the other direction though, because I can only just touch fingertips this way. So this shows me that there's a little bit of a difference in mobility from shoulder to shoulder and some stretching might be useful. The next two challenges are going to be strength based. The first one needs us to sit down on a chair. And here there are two rules. No hands, hands must be in the air, no helping with the hands. And one foot hovers off the floor. So we do this uh, challenge one leg at a time. You start with one foot flat on the floor and all you need to do is stand up. So that might be quite easy on one side or on both sides. I know that one side is definitely stronger than the other for me. It's often the case with, with uh, everybody, yet to meet someone who's symmetrical. So if we try that challenge, whoop, a little bit more difficult on the other side. So again, if you can't lift yourself up or if you're having a bit of a wobble like I was on that second side, gives you a bit of a clue to something to work on there. Second strength challenge is about plank. So onto our elbows, lifting our hips so our whole body is in a really nice straight line, top of the heads, down to the heels, and we just want to time how long we can spend in that position. Ideally, you want to aim for around the 30 second mark. If, however, you can push it on a little bit more towards a minute, 90 seconds, brilliant. So 30 seconds is, is, a, is a bar to kind of try and hit. And uh, if you can't quite get there at the moment, then that's definitely something to be worth working on to complement your running. Final couple of things are more balance related challenges. First one is just standing on one leg. Again, seeing if you can get up to 30 seconds. If you're finding that really quite easy, then you can try spelling your first name with the opposite foot. So you're moving your center of gravity around a little bit. That's really easy. Then you want to close your eyes. Again, seeing if you can hold that for up to 30 seconds. Make sure you do both sides. One might be slightly different to the other. Final challenge, another little twist onto the, the one leg stand, is just trying to do a one leg knee bend. But here, we want hands on hips, because we want to check what our pelvis is doing when we do this. Ideally, when you're doing it yourself in front of a mirror, so you can see what's going on movement-wise. So hands on the hips, and we want to do a small knee bend. Just driving the knees forward, the rest of the body nice and upright, so it's not really like a squat. The knee goes forward just so it goes over the end of your toes and then back up again. 
We want the pelvis to be completely level. And we want that knee to just be going forwards and backwards. We do not want it having a bit of a wobble. So that again, check to do on both sides. Depending on how you get on with these, we can then start looking at what would be good exercises, good little exercise routines to start doing to help improve. And we can then go back to these little challenges and see how much that improvement has been made. Let me know any questions in the comments.